What if 1776 was a trick and it was basically just another group of wealthy people hijacking the labor force from the king for their own agenda? How did they get all the colonists to agree to the revolution and overthrowing the king? They said, oh, you're paying too many taxes and you don't have representation. The truth is, is that you pay way more taxes today than you did back then. And raise your hand if you feel like you have representation today. You see, George Washington and the other wealthy colonists wanted more wealth and more power and more land, and in 1763, King George gave the Royal Proclamation, which said the colonies shall not extend past the Appalachian Mountains, and he's seen the natives as a noble and peaceful people, who were to be traded with fairly. And that's why also in the Declaration of Independence, they called the natives merciless Indian savages in order to create an invisible enemy that will garner all of this newfound patriotism in expanding the land and attacking the native people, dehumanizing them so it's okay to steal their stuff and treat them unfairly. How many of you descendants of these colonizers believe that you're free today? Raise your hand. How many can now see that the natives were not the enemies to the colonies? In fact, they had treaties and trade routes. You still pay too much taxes. You still don't have any representation. The natives still are not your enemy and you're still not free. Since 1776, you just have new owners.